Hollyoak spoilers, Helen Pearson tells us she's glad Frankie has been killed off and reveals what's next. Hollyoaks has tonight killed off one of its longest-running characters as Helen Pearson has departed her role as Frankie Osborne after over 15 years. And while viewers had been worried that Frankie might meet her maker in the school explosion given that an Osborne death had already been confirmed, her final scene saw her collapse to the ground after suffering a stroke. Paramedics fought to save Frankie but she passed away and to add to the devastation, Frankie was about to reiterate her love and dedication to husband Jack, who himself had just escaped death after being buried in rubble in the destroyed high school. As the Osbournes lie in tatters, we caught up with Helen to discuss her emotional ending in the show and to find out what her future plans are now that Frankie is no more. Carly Stenson, who played Steph return to sing over your final scenes, how was that? When I heard that Carly was doing it, I got a lump in my throat. The last time that we did anything together was when she came back as an angel because we had never really said goodbye as mother and daughter, she sang then and it was incredible and emotional. She has got such a beautiful voice. It must be a wrench to say goodbye to Frankie after all of this time. I'm a little scared, it's a little odd seeing the character you have played for such a long time die. I want to watch all of the episodes together, which I haven't done yet, so I'm nervous. I have been on the show for almost 16 years, so it's a heck of a long time and it's been fantastic. Some people are keen to put down serial dramas and soaps. There's a snobbery around it. As an actor, though. You get the chance to play incredible storylines with highs and lows from slapstick comedy right through to seriously gritty scenes. And you get to work with some fantastic people so I haven't been so lucky. I am feeling very positive now and looking forward to the next chapter, I have been in the business for 51 years so I am always looking ahead to what's next but of course, I am missing everyone in the show massively. We'll all keep in touch certainly the immediate ones of one's family because you spend more time with your on-screen family than you do your real family. I have spent way more time with Jimmy McKenna than my own husband, anyway. But I have no regrets and I have had such a brilliant time. And it's also good to draw a line under Frankie and I am looking forward to that final scene playing out as I am in a bit of limbo right now while Frankie is still alive but I am not in it. So were you pleased that Frankie was being killed off? I felt that having been in the show for so long, I was looking forward to doing something different and if the door were left open, there'd always be that temptation to keep drifting back. In some respects, it would have been quite nice but I think I need that closure so I was quite happy with this. It's good to move on after such a long time. I'm really not good at making decisions either so I would have always been oh, should I go back? Should I stay away? This way, I know Frankie's story is at an end. Also, the ending of a death is far more dramatic and it's quite brave of the storyliners to have done that. I thought the twist of her dying away from the stunt was cleverly done as well and it was all very exciting for me. What have been your highlight of working for the Osborne family? Well I was with the Deans for some time and the relationships with Steph and Jono worked really well. Then Jono wasn't around as much. I seem to remember he was always stuck on the M62 because he was a long-distance truck driver. So then they needed a new love interest for Frankie and I had a series of blind dates set up by the kids, and so I worked with about four or five male actors in quick succession and the stories were all preposterous and great fun. That was a real highlight. Then Jack and I got together and that has been for about 12 years. One of the most dramatic storylines which I can remember is when Jack faked his own death and was living in the attic. I will never forget the scene when he came in after what must have been months and I had to do this very, very slow head turn. And then she just saw him and it was the whole thing of whether it was relief, joy, love or absolute bloody hatred for what he had put her through. It was a difficult scene to play truthfully because it could have been ridiculous. I have got to play so many highs and lows so it's really hard to highlight particular ones as there have been so many deep storylines and fun ones. There are so many fond memories and so many laughs and tears. 
It can be quite an emotional and harrowing role to play too. The storyline with Jade Albright's cancer was a memorable one for being so emotional because Cassius Nelson was so incredibly talented. That was terribly affecting and you could feel quite emotionally strained going home after filming that story. Will you continue to tune in? Of course. I will be very interested to know what happens, and I hope they will be weeping big tears for me and the grief goes on for a very long time. Laughs, knowing the soap world, they will probably get over it very quickly. What I am really fascinated to know is if Jack gets a new love interest, I will be so intrigued by that. It will seem like a betrayal. Ashley Taylor Dawson threw a really beautiful do for me and it was really special. He is like a son, and that was really sweet of him. Carly and I don't speak for months on end and then when we speak, it's like time has stood still. She truly is like a member of my family, as are they all and I will be watching them with interest to see what they're all getting up to without me. What are your plans for the immediate future? I'm just taking stock right now, I have been offered a couple of panta rolls but it's something I wasn't wanting to do at this point in time. I am also the patron of a charity called Marmalade Trust and it supports people dealing with loneliness and isolation problems. I did a short film with one of the directors from Hollyoaks called Lorna which basically highlighted the issues. She wasn't a particularly old person and it was more poignant to show that any age can face loneliness. It was very different to Frankie and that's why I was attracted to it. A lady from Marmalade Trust called Amy Perrin saw it and thought it would be a great film to run with her campaign so we met and I am happy to think that the film helped Marmalade to take off. I am now patron of the charity and that is something which is very dear to me. Amy is just brilliant and so dedicated so I am keen to keep working with them. So on Christmas Day, 135 people who would otherwise be on their own will have their day in restaurants and venues across Bristol with volunteers so I am really looking forward to seeing how that goes. In the new year, I want to take it easy and not rush into anything because it's been a long time and it's a really big change. I'm looking forward to doing different things really, it's quite exciting.